The 2022 Poker Go Tour season featured the very best in the game. Today, those top players close the year with one final battle. This is the PGT Championship. Okay. The world party. champ. Good luck, everybody. Oh. It's about to do with these mallards right here, Jeff. Look okay, at this. Yeah, I really look forward to it. I'm sure it'll work out well for him. <laughs> so, Jack, Jack, Jack 9-8. Top two for Negranu. Yep. Things working for Kuhn and Chidwick. Your stat, though, Brent, with your ducks. Yeah, well, the duck be is hard clean. to win this one. It's clean. The duck if it is comes clean. On that a turn, is a good it, point. It's clean. That's a good point. Not going to affect anything. Just going to give Espen a beautiful hand. I don't, don't think he's going to go much further than the flop. I blame you for that, Jeff. I don't. Always trying to pass blame when Deuce is loose. I lose with deuces all the time. You tell me I played it poorly, which is probably true. Itsy bitsy betsy, itsy bitsy betsy. We got some itsy bitsy betsy. <laughs> take one off. Oh. Itsy bitsy bets. Here we go. Sing this to my kid. <laughs> yeah, you should. Check. You know who didn't qualify? Check. And I don't even think was particularly close. Phil Helmuth. Yeah. You'd have to scroll down the leaderboard for a pretty long time before Just you found him. Just nowhere near the top 21. Doesn't really play a lot of the high rollers. He finished uh, 132nd place. I think I finished higher than that. <laughs> uh, you did not. Negranu's strategy. He stays out of harm's way. Avoids these spots. You know, the river could be. <laughs> Don't laugh, guys. Stop. Oh <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Oh, everyone's laughing. Oh, <laughs> shit. No, I do. Too fair. <laughs> everyone's laughing. Stop laughing, okay? Sometimes you get bluffed. It's okay. It's oh, he's so making it look easy. Like, yeah, no, he's he's a <laughs> lot smoother with minutes. it than Mr. Helmy. Here we go. The level's 45 yeah, minutes. Yeah, Chidwick. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were now. Flop trips. Check, check. Hmm. Again, while winter. Huh? Has flopped a flush draw. Okay. Coon a couple back door draws in the overs. Little little taste for everybody. Yeah. Chidwick first to act. Yeah, with all the trip eyes sixes. on Chidwick right now with trips on this sort of board. Check. Just knuckles once more. Perhaps feeling he's still way ahead, potentially way behind. Oh my gosh, and Winter doesn't even put a chip in the pot with a flush. These guys are playing extremely coy, deceptive. Check. And the river is the king of hearts. So Jason Kuhn becomes the winner. Chidwick ahead on the flop, Winter ahead on the turn, Kuhn now ahead on the river. Nobody put in a single chip post-flop. Disastrous river for winter. Check. Five thousand. Nice lay down by Chidwick. Seven of diamonds. This is reasonable. Ten seconds. This guy's insane. Nice lay down by Winter we as have? well. Chidwick has cool. flopped trip aces while Winter has flopped kings right? full. No money bubble. Yeah, yeah. Pre-flop, sure. Chidwick open to 4K, winter baby. three bet to 13,500. Yeah. Yeah. Even the no stalling is great. Chidwick made yeah. the call. Check called 3K on the flop. 37,000 now in the pot. You see on the bottom right corner of your screen. <clears throat> Sizable bet here. That's 52K in the 37. How about this line? From Sean Winter, he bet three thousand on the flop, and now on the turn, fifty-two thousand over betting. Ten 
Nope. Chidwick makes oh the call. God. Uh, I think that's exactly what I have. 141k in this pot. The river is a nine. Winter's hand is best. 174k behind. Trying to extract max value. Here we go. All of it. Chidwick asks for a count. Chidwick knows this, this is a full house or it's nothing. Does find the folds. They look good though. Gross. I don't want any. I'm just saying. You can have some. No, they're good. They look good. Gross. Osmus defending with the king home. three, Gross. and the flop comes ace three three, which is very bad news for that man right there, Sam Greenwood. That's extra troublesome for Sam Ooh. Greenwood. That's four K here. Okay, a lot of a lot of traveling in a short period of time. Yeah. Check raise here by Osmus. So much lately. Which you would do with a host of different hands. Kind of tempting to just chill in. Yeah. But he happens to have it here. Plenty, plenty of flush draws routine, that you would like just be willing to gamble with. The best. I love London. Yeah. He makes well, the call here. Traveling. Yeah. yeah. I get you, man. More <sighs> cases of cancer than people that sleep normal hours. Vietnam, first week of March. You're going to be there, I guess. All in. All in. Or can just get them right now. Cool. Sam Greenwood on the ropes here. An ace and only an ace. Can Greenwood get lucky? He cannot. He might be hey, that's a good one. Could likely be messing around when I have a 10 3 right. club. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Say good game to Sam Greenwood. It's open. Negranu jammed. Espen Yorsad re jammed with ace jack. It's ace king for Daniel Negranu. Negranu does not run well in all ends. <laughs> He's looking to hold here. Here comes the flop. 9 4 3. A clean What's flop for Daniel Negranu. Diamond? Okay. I have no either way. The turn okay. is the eight of spades. I don't feel like the, like you did with the kings the other or no, the dash of like, oh boy, don't want to look. This one, whatever. Only a jack would eliminate Negrano. Oh, it's paint on the river, but it's a queen. Yeah, right. Maybe the curse is over. Up to 252K. After Seth anything. Davies open, Demon Alex stuff. Foxen jammed. Davies do. made the call, and here we go. Foxen all in and at risk. With the ace jack offsuit up against the pocket eights of Seth Davies. <clears throat> Foxen number. Mm. could find a win. He'd be up to 127K. Not a great fall for him. 9 4 3. Backdoor wheel Not draw four. is available. Yeah, fours are bad. I had fours last hand. I'm looking for an ace or a jack, though. Oh. It's not there on the turn. And that is, <laughs> that is <laughs> GG. As Seth Davies makes you a set of eights. You guys. And it, that kind of sums up the day that it was yeah, for Alex Foxen, right? Just drawing go, dead uh, from the moment he woke up yeah. before he walked <laughs> into the studio. Could cut. not what? get anything what? going. For the top 21, perhaps having his worst career yeah. year. <laughs> Have to pay you. Winter opens here, all of it. 95. From Espen oh, out yeah. of the small. Winter oh. makes the call, and here we go. The 2022 World Series of Poker main event champion, all in and at risk with the ace three of diamonds against Sean Winter's ace 10. Winter on his feet. We can't look. Jumping around. Espen on his feet. <laughs> eight eight deuce. Jason Kuhn said before anything. Felt like it'd be a chop. Choppable indeed. Espen needs to find a three to win this outright. Another eight on the turn. Plenty of chop outs available. Sean Winter. Still greater than a 50% chance to win and bust the champ. And the river is a seven, and Espen Yorstad's day is done. For the top 21, perhaps having his worst career yeah. year. 
going to have to pay you. Winter opens here, all of it. 95. From Espen oh, out yeah. of the small. Winter oh. makes the call, and here we go. The 2022 World Series of Poker main event champion, all in and at risk with the ace three of diamonds against Sean Winter's ace 10. Winter on his feet. We can't look. I got Jumping one. around. Are you, are you, are you? No, Espen the on his feet. 8-8 <laughs> yeah, eight, deuce. Jason right. Kuhn said before <laughs> anything, it's very like choppable. It'd be a chop. Choppable indeed. Espen oh, needs to find a three to win this outright. Another eight on the turn. Plenty of chop outs available. Sean Winter. Still greater than a 50% chance to win and bust the champ. And the river is a seven, and Espen Yorstad's day is done. How about this? Osmus three betting with the ace king, and Sean Winter looks down at two kings in the small blind. Oh, this could be night night potentially for Osmus. A four betting opportunity for winter with the Cowboys. The cold four to 90K in the Guanu as Queens. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. He jams. If there's ever been a time to get away from Ace King, it's right here, right now. Understanding Negrano with the very top of his range. With the five bet jam. He is out of the way. Winter does make the call, and here we go. Kings for Winter, Queens for Daniel Negreanu. Let's get right to it. Okay, so there's a king on the flop, and Daniel Negreanu's day is done. That is it. Negreanu's out of here. We're just holding it up here for the river, but we know he's drawing stone dead. An absolute cooler to end Daniel Negreanu's day. Austin Smith will defend with the ace four. And Austin with a tricky one. Ace of hearts in his hand, unlikely to give up just yet. Does make the call. Six of hearts on the turn. Kuhn makes a flush. Osmus does have that ace of hearts. Almost 45K in this pot. Seven to five. So a 35K bet that gets called here by Osmus. Yeah, and sizing again would be. Oh, that oh looks I'm like sorry. It's that more is... than a call. Here comes the check raise with that ace of hearts in his hand. Kuhn thought he was targeting what could have been a king. Kuhn okay. does make the call. The river is the ten of spades. Osmus does not get here, but perhaps that ace of hearts is an even more appealing bluff candidate. Goes for it all. And Jason Kuhn snaps him off with the goods. And we say good game to Jeremy Osmus. That'll do it. As far as what we could do to change things up to make sure Triton would still be included. 241 back here. I have a feeling that these two fine gentlemen will work out an arrangement. Queen, 10, Whoa. 9, with two clubs, two pair for Davies. <coughs> Nines in the ace high flush draw for Jason Kuhn. Forty-five. Seth will get some more chips in the middle right now, makes it 45K. Maybe Kuhn concerned about being up against a made hand, a flop straight. Uh, if that's the case... Equity not so great. It's the call.
Oh, and turns a better two pair. Davies in dire straits. That is 40,000 from Jason Kuhn. Davies calls. Case. So it goes check, check. Kuhn will show down the winner. Wow. Uh, Davies is just fortunate to, to still be in this tournament. Yeah. Davies with the ace queen suited. Oh. All of it. Because that's great news for Seth Davies. I'm not sure if. Your initial suit? He oh. does make the call. And Seth Davies is in prime position to find the double up. About a three to one favorite. Ace in the window. Uh -oh. yeah, always a bit of sweat. Not as good as it looks. Don't give me the uh oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the turns paint. It is a king. Does that, we, does that mean we chop now if there's a straight? Yeah, that does indeed. Is that how this yeah. game works. How much is Kuhn will drop? eliminate Davies with a king yeah. on the river. That's not too greedy. Yeah, that was good part. You can sweat it here. There's more ties, yeah. though. <laughs> what is going on? It's is this just the verification? You see the river card. Of king's face. Oh. It's another Maybe ace. Once. He did indeed win, and Seth Davies is back up to 380,000. Yeah, back in business. Middle of the pack now, nearly 40 blinds for Seth blind. Davies. Mm -hmm. We'll get there together. Uh, a decent <laughs> one for Jason Kuhn. So he looks down at not just the ace of diamonds, but an ace of clubs as well. Dude, my, my ears were a little bigger when they started talking, and they're just getting smaller and smaller. Oh, Listen, God. Chad. These are long days. I know, it feels like it's 3 a.m. right now. Carol flicking a call with the 6 what? 3 of spades. <laughs> Jack 10 4 with two spades. Flush draw for cat. 66K in the pot. No spade in Kuhn's hand. I think it's typically going to be on the smaller side or the much larger side if you do continue. And he opts for. 16,000. Great price for a carry to peel with this flush draw. Whoa. Peels the five of clubs on the turn, so now the open ender will accompany that flush draw. And he does size this one up, betting 100,000, about a pot size bet on the turn. All, in. All of it. Oh, boy. And the call, and here we go. A massive pot so here. Gonna pair your eight, countered. River card. It's the jack of hearts. Swing and a miss for Kerry Katz. 68. A three bet to 68,000. 145. The cold four. And makes the call. Colliding. Queen 7 3. Coon out flops Davies. Davies leads for 130,000. And in these four bet pots, Jeff, you know, it, it's almost sort of mandatory for Davies to continue in some way, shape, or form out of position. And the turn is the five of clubs. Does check here on the turn. 70. Coon bets small here on the turn. Oh my goodness. This is intriguing. 70,000 into nearly 600. Does call here. Which means 727,000 is in this pot. Oh, and it's an ace on the river. So Davies makes a pair of aces, but it's top two for Jason Kuhn. Yeah. 
All in. Coon going to go for it all. He does make the call, and his tournament will come to a close. And at Coon with more than 1.8 million. And in second place is Chad Eve Sledge with 347,000 in chips. From the moment he walked in the door, Jason Kuhn has been a steamroller. He has knocked out foe after foe and amassed over half the chips in play. Can anyone stop his mission to bring home the winner take all prize of a half million dollars? Find out right now. And with that, we welcome you to Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the PGT Championship coming to you from the PokerGo studio at Aria Resort and Casino. Come join us inside. We are happy to have you here. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. An immediate adjustment right here. I think in any other final table situation, he's probably just piling there. Ace, Whoa. queen, 10, all down. Diamonds and both Eve Sledge and Petrangelo flop a flush. And Eve Sledge with just 150k behind. Brent Chidwick folded the 6 8 of diamonds. How, how are there any diamonds left? I have no idea, but this is just a cold, cold deck. Well, we can start packing our bags if we are, Chad. My goodness, still not a single bet from either of the flushes in the hand. Cool with top pair and a little gutter ball as well. Does he just simply think he could have the best of it? Another knuckle. Reverse the deuce of clubs the best hand. Oh my goodness. How much? Seventy thousand. Seventy thousand is the bet. Kuhn will flick in the call, which Eve Sledge perhaps thinks at the moment is fantastic news. Uh, he's all in. All in. And there it does go into the middle. Nick got a royal or something? <laughs> Just make the call. Eve Sledge will see the bad news. Good game, Chad. Good, game. Good luck. Thank you, bro. I've got Winter, all, all of it with Go sixes. For, for Halloween. Kids Chidwick, matters. all of it. Yeah. I mean, the effort. And here we like, go. I mean, he takes the grade off and like puts a clown down there. These two have performed very well in the Poker Go studio throughout the years. Jack of diamonds. Uh. I've... God dang it, you're too good. Oh. Instead, it's the four spades. Plus. King of club. King is, did you have that? No. no. I think I had the, I don't know what I had. I had. Yeah. Chidwick needs some help. An ace or a jack would eliminate Sean Winter. Instead, it's another four, and Winter finds the double. You King get, 10. Uh, and and Sign up now for Poker Go. That beats the heck out of... A one-year membership to the Jelly of the Month Club. What? No, you Coon heard with Queen Eight makes the call, and here we go. This one. Oh, Queen Eight Six. In that kind of tournament for Jason Coon. Okay. We'll see if Jason's right about that spin. <laughs> And that will just do it. All right, Steve, we yeah, say yeah, good yeah, game buddy. to Stephen Chidwick, number one on the 2022 PGT leaderboard, eliminated <laughs> in fifth place. All, in. All, in. All of it. Oh, oh Winter Whoa. slams in the Guess call. Uh, ace eight off. Ace four of <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> What if Full Helmuthian with that you, man. I don't want to break your heart. motion. <laughs> That's one of Jason's like favorites right there. Ace, 10, 3 with one club. So three to the Royal and the Broadway draw. Look out for it. 
for you, you know what I mean? Uh, six of diamonds on the turn is not a good one for Benny Glazer. Needs a jack that is not a diamond to stay in the PGT Championship. Could be. Could be. Good game, Benny. Instead, it's the yeah. juice of hearts. We say good game to Benny Glazer. What a week of poker it's been for him. Second place in the WPT World Championship. Fourth place in the PGT Championship. Winter makes it 80K. 250. And Kuhn makes it 250,000. There is, I, I know we're saying there's no ICM considerations, but there certainly is something to consider when you, you just have to get heads up to even give yourself Absolutely. a chance, right? So there is a ton of pressure and leverage. Maybe I see him. I mean, we can be honest here with a 500K first place prize and zero for second. <laughs> Maybe if you get to top two, you negotiate a little saver of sorts. This flop comes king at 10 at six. Winner flops top two. Oh, yeah, the flavor saver right there. You can see Sean Winner's stash, and he's got himself top two. 130. 130,000. Coon leads for 130K. is the jack Ooh. of clubs so broadway draw for coon he also has the four of clubs in his hand let's check seven hundred eighty-five thousand in the pot winter with 465k behind previous hands he's looking more straight ahead straight down he has leaned oh, right over oh. staring all of it at winter Coon out of the way, sizable pot headed in the direction of Sean Winter. Reaching for a decent amount of those purple 25k chips. Coon makes the call, and Brent, what do you say we play a pot with the chip lead on the line? Sign me up, Jeff. King 8-5 with one spade. Winter does take the lead on this flop. One twenty-five. Call. Coon calls a couple backdoor draws, including that straight draw, which is now there. The flush draw has arrived for Winter. You will be stubborn. Winter, pot control. We know he's not going anywhere. Yeah. Let's see what Jason Kuhn decides to do. Okay. He will also knuckle it back. And Jeff, this red deuce now on the river continues to create potential problems. If Winter goes for value with an eight, Coon still beats plenty of bluffs yeah, with those it's be sixes. Very hard it's to fold. very difficult to get away, even if it's a sort of a half pot, quarter pot sizing. Winter will check. choose check, and Coon is thrilled to check back, but not going to be thrilled to see this hand. We have a new chip leader at the 2022 PGT Championship, and his name is Sean Winter. Down to about 20 bigs. 15K, 30K, a 30K big blind ante. So a little bit more than 100 bigs on the table. And the bad run continues for Jason Kuhn. He's got that Rocky in him. And his training regimen probably is similar. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh -huh. You know? Oh, Ooh, another three on the turn. That was our doing. We summoned that, I think. Via Rocky. Petrangelo check calls. 
We have our eight of diamonds. No help to Nikki P, who's going to be put in quite the spot right here. Well, I think he is, Jeff, the way this hand has played. And we have seen Coons apt to overbet in these spots. 360. Pot size bet from Jason Kuhn here. Call. Does make the call. Kuhn gets paid off with the trip threes. Petrangelo back to the short stack. All of it. Does call. Petrangelo look down at a good one? He says call. He asks King 10, and here we go. Nick Petrangelo all in and at risk. Petrangelo won this. He'd be back to 750K. Great. Ace Jack Deuce. A variety of ways to get the job it's done if you're Nick Petrangelo. 50, 50. For now, needs a king, queen, or ten. One. Has a backdoor flush draw as well. Either way, I have a good hand, you know? You looked at the six of diamonds only? I didn't look. I don't know which one Eight it was. Spades on the turn. Doesn't G come in on the river. GG, bro. You say good game to Nick Petrangelo. I just wanted you to know you're not alone. Right. As far as play-by-play -play <laughs> broadcasters who don't understand the game. Very common. Oftentimes on the biggest stage. Queen five deuce. Yes. Pairs for both. Winter's pair is best. Check. Checks it back. Oof. Eight on the turn. Oof. Eights and deuces now for Jason Kuhn. Reaching. Kuhn would do this with obviously hands like two pair, but also I think some pretty big draws, key cards. Setting things up for a nice looking shove on the river, depending on the card, of course. It's the six of clubs. All in. Goes for it all. I gotta pay. And Winter Super. does make the call. The tables have turned in this heads up Seven battle. Five. Jason Kuhn gets paid off. Ten Get a bite to eat right. for crying out loud. For food. A lot. You know who eats a lot is uh, Fedor. He was always eating. Winter with Jack Helmy eats eight. more than any person alive. Uh, how much do I have? Like 400? Less. It does go in, and here we go. And Winter, significant favorite here. With the Jack 8 against Jason Kuhn's 10 8. 655. You just can't ask for a better spot. 70% no. favorite. You must give me a heart attack for a second. The first all in and call throughout this heads up match. What is that? Finally woke up with a tree something. Ten six five. Coon finds a ten on the flop. I think it's a back. Oh, I have the eight of clubs. Yes, yeah. a couple backdoor draws back indeed for Sean Winter. Where are you gonna put this thing? <laughs> I don't the know. Turn man. doesn't fill big any big of those backdoor draws. A jack and only a jack will extend this tournament. Or otherwise, it's Coon's title. The best of the best, Jason Kuhn is the PGT champion. You too. <laughs>